Я вышла на улицы нашего So I'm in the streets of our standoff replica city and it was a timely visit. Right now we're going to take comments from what is your name? You going to be the mayor of the city? No. No. General Yeah, you will be a replica general. Okay, dear uh, replica general, your comments about what's happening in the standoff and what was happening yesterday. Yesterday, it was a good day. And it was rich day, honestly speaking. In the course of two days, you know, teams were getting their f power, and the second day, they finally get to our machines and they started solving our uh, tasks. They have not been sleeping last night, and yesterday... 1058, they already have realized dehydrator, this ball had, it was red yesterday. Will you show us this today? Because we were not able to see it yesterday. Well, if they will show it once again, okay, this is Skada and this is ball. It shouldn't work like this. In normal mode, it shouldn't be filled with water. Skada shouldn't be so bright red and tubes should not burn with red color. Why? Because just a couple of minutes before this broadcast, Code Buy have realized this risk. And by the way, 23 hours ago, they did, and Code Buy have repeated this. They have repeated the same way, or they did it their own way. Well, the same, the same thing. You didn't look inside. Okay, I understand that. Okay, let's go walk in the streets. Yeah, let's go walk in the streets. Yesterday, we have stopped here and uh, we have not discussed anything. So, for example, there is a tank here. Well, I've been looking like all the viewers. I've been watching everything. And I want to make this foam night. Foamy night. It was a false activation of the foam uh, fire extinguishing system. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay, let's show that yellow tank once again and right now you will see when it's going to be in focus and we will finally sh show how the foam is going to fill it okay, here it is this is the light music okay right now the fire extinguishing system will blow up you see the foam is coming from the bottom the foam is coming from the bottom here it is okay now i'm happy everybody were able to see that how it's supposed to be done I would like to tell you that five minutes ago, Alexei Lobzin wanted for this risk to be realized by our attackers. But they were not able to do that. It was done by you. Again, I also have some desires. I like how it looks like. We've been doing it. We've been inventing it. And, you know, it was done with a purpose uh, for the viewers, for the hackers. So code buy has got close to it. Oh, they say, okay, did it work? And I say, okay, you see, everything's colorful. He says, okay, and went to write report. So what's next? Uh, we have closed your gestalt yesterday. Okay, let's try to switch this small switch from run into stop position. This small switch, can you do it with your hand? Okay, keep my phone, keep it. And I'm going down under this replica. And usually Vladimir sits under this replica. And today it's me. So what should I do? Okay, pull it, pull it. And while you're switching, we are going to show dehydrators. And it will become red. This ball will become red. I recommend you. Remind me, what should I pull? There is so many cables I will pull. There is one switch, not the cable. The switch. Pull the switch, not the cable. Hello, this one. This one? Oh, oh my god why did you push it okay switch it on and switch it off i don't know how can this be done it's all so small nothing can be seen can i do it now yeah you can do it three two one goes okay everything's linking get up you did a great job of pulling this plug here's your mobile let's move on should i switch it back on no 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 The mechanical has been working, it's blinking red. Can you show it once again? And we're going to show it how the dehydrator blinks red. Can you switch on this red blinking on the dehydrator? All right, the next element is the furnace. This tube furnace, and here's a scar of this furnace. And we will try to switch on the fire inside of this furnace. A nice, bright 
fire inside of this furnace. Let the light burn and there should be smoke and uh, fire extinguishing machine should come and we have video what okay you see this team is coming up the smoke is coming up we have a beautiful video and it's on the internet side because we've been filming everything there's gonna be a lot of smoke 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 yes imitation of fire I have a question why the fire has not started but the fire team is on the place yeah here's the fire extinguishing team and one fireman has been lost no this is just some employee okay here it is the steam is coming out the smoke is coming out the fire is burning this the fire machine is running it's coming why don't i hear the sound okay here they come will they do the extinguishing does it look like there is a real fire inside oh yeah the smoke was beautiful in the beginning it was so dark and it had a nice smell like cherries no it's better not to smell it you've prohibited me to stick my fingers inside of it but honestly speaking what has happened you see these tubes uh, around it <clears throat> okay it was switched off but in these tubes they deliver oil at the bottom they have certain uh, jet jets and if you will switch gas a supply on a full size and oil transportation will be stopped the tubes will blow and the overheated oil will start burning on this open fire and everything will become in in a big fireball big black steam and foam and everything's gonna burn but in real life is it possible to extinguish such a fire uh -huh. well yesterday i've been speaking about this thing and there's a big tank everything is burning uh, big fire and this uh, foam extinguishing system can stop this fire in 20 seconds so in here it's also going to be done in 20 seconds not here it's much worse it's going to be much worse that's what i'm speaking about so if this will start burning that's going to be the end not the end not the end okay the next element in our oil refinery the final one it's the rectification column so here is the scatter for this rectifier and here's the rectification column yeah we're going to switch to it okay this is a rectification column it is divided into different fractions and depending on temperature rectification of oil is happening it comes uh, overheated from the bottom and then it's being separated on different fractions at different heights and they collect different fractions on different heights and they are delivered to different tanks those fractions of uh, finished products so right now one two three they will show an accident so what do we see right now yeah we see it it's the column is overfilled if overheated steam will come uh, to this and it's going to be all filled with the oil rectification is not happening and that's it and from all the tubes the wrong product is uh, coming out the technical technological process has been destroyed and oil refinery doesn't work as it's supposed to i have a question related on or unrelated when yesterday they have realized uh, cross industrial risk here there were words i've heard the words rectificational that's why i'm asking you but there were two other cool worlds uh, saltless and waterless oil yeah that's right that's right this inter industrial uh, connection because in this second minima scheme there is a pump pipe pump here which uh, produces aviation fuel and pumps it uh, through this pipeline to the airport so this is our storage uh, out there it's the airport and if you will get into this car you can stop oil pipeline with aviation kerosene it says aviation kerosene for the jet fuel yeah it is jet fuel yeah it is jet fuel great and how do you deliver this jet fuel well rectifier does the rectification of oil dividing it into fractions but uh something that we've had in, in the middle is the electric dehydrator this is something that takes away water and salts from the finished product okay that's it that's it for the oil right now we understand that 
готовы к продукту, да? Как его много не повезешь на машинах, на автобусах. You cannot deliver a lot of uh, jet fuel uh, through trucks. So you do it through the pipeline. But pipeline was shut down yesterday. The only thing which is still operational... Well, I'm lying to you. I'm lying to you. This morning, this morning, fuel station was also realized. So finished uh, oil products are being sold in a fueling station. You see gas station. And next to this gas station, uh, there is a price tag. Maybe you cannot see it, but you see advertising here. The, yeah, I see the numbers. So yesterday, true have replaced it by zeros and we will uh, show this to you when it's going to store it okay now it's stored blinking and can you zoom it there will be zero 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 the price of the fuel on a gas station you will see zero 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 <coughs> and how's it related with oil product delivery it's the price influence Yes, but I've told you, this is a different story. Uh, we have finished with airplanes, but with fueling station, it's already realizations of realization and sales of oil products. It's the sales of the gasoline after it was produced and processed, transported, and they're trying to sell it. Okay, I understand the problem in price changes. The problem is not the delivery have stopped, but the prices have been changed. Yes, it's the same story as when oil products are delivered. For example, one year in May 21, the, there was a hacker attack against Colonial Pipeline and they've stopped uh, delivery of 90% uh, of their uh, gas stations. They ran out of gasoline and people could not refuel their cars and gas prices went up that's why i thought that there we have the same situation here well this situation is about stoppage of uh, fuel delivery and these are attacks against the fueling station and we see that if things like that happen in modern automated uh, fueling station there's a control system you can have contactless payments, uh, cashless payments, uh, you fuel your car and leave. So it means this one cannot serve the passengers and it's controlled by the controller. So if they will get inside of this controller and we do have similar projects, they might cause a service mode and will demonstrate it. Uh, that you will see uh, that fueling station is not going to work. So do we see it? No. Not yet. Not yet. Oh my God! No. Okay, it blinks. It blinks, and right now this tele, you will see the fueling gun being crossed over. It means it's red, and these cars. It shows like an accident. There's a queue out of cars, and they cannot refuel. Beautiful. Wonderful. So people are queuing and they cannot fuel their cars. Okay, Julia, I think we are finished with oil products. Uh, I've shown you everything that I wanted you with these three new cells. Okay, let's move in that direction. That direction. Yes, I wanted to go into another direction. I wanted to rest in the park. Let's go to the park. Recreational park. Okay, this box you've been standing next to. This system which controls the parking, here's the entrance to the parking lot in the entertainment park and according to the legend, entrance is controlled by the system which recognizes a, a driving license, car license, license plate. And you can see a lot of different license plates. System recognizes them, and then we have lists of who can get in, who cannot get in. And sometimes you see uh, that the gate is getting opened. When he sees the proper number, the gate automatically lets them in. I don't remember. Close to the new year, there was a big story that in Moscow, uh, the gate system has been broken to vulnerabilities. So we have only the gates, but will there any car that will approach it or it will open by itself? Where's the car? The cars are not riding. Why they're not driving? Because I think hackers broke everything. Let's move up to water cleaning. 
Okay, I wanted to see it, but I didn't see it. Okay, let's go to the cleaning, water cleaning system. I will stick my finger inside, or I shouldn't. Shouldn't I? We will try to clean the space, so we are interested in this view. This is cleaning, water cleaning system. And I will give you the mouse, and on this computer... Well, this is a nice view here. Let's move here. Yeah, it's a nice view. I did have a lot of people to organize the beach with uh, swimming people. It's beautiful. Are these cows or pigs? I think there's a hunter on the top. Yeah. It's for the joy of visitors. So, Julia, what should I do? Okay, we have a cleaning system here. Here's the mouse, here's a stop button. Can you press it? I hope that I need to press. You will stop the water cleaning system and everything will start blinking. And what is going to happen? Look, look. Oh my God, somebody have destroyed the cleaning system. The water is poisoned. Uh, the cleaning system is not working. That's it. So the nature has been poisoned and the dirty water was spilled into the river. And this lady running into the river, she suffered from hackers. She's dirty now. The next, what we have, it's the metal mining company. Metal company, okay, this is the SCADA and this is piece of that company. If you remember, these workshops, last time they were closed. And this bucket inside, it's a converter, you remember it, it was here. But these two shops, they were closed. So in here, in the left side, we have continuous um, melting machine, rolling machine, continuous rolling, and the steel which comes from the converter, it's delivered here. You see the steel carrier approaches, and then it's being melted, uh, and then it's being pulled and cut into slabs, which uh, are rolled afterwards. Do you know that slabs are red hot? Do you see that they are red light? Do they look like real metal? i never seen the real metal, but it looks like. Yeah, we've tried. We had a high-frequency system which uh, allows these things to be lit inside. Can you park so close to the production uh, facilities? I tell you, yes. A. And B, in a normal situation, there is a wall and nothing is seen through the wall. So we'll demonstrate what hackers should do in order to... What is the main idea here? Hot metal is being melted here, then it goes to the cooling system, it's being cooled and it has a cork and it's being pulled out for this uh, cork uh, by the pulling mechanism. It looks like the candies are being produced. Maybe, maybe it's exactly like the candies. So if you will stop operations or if you will change the temperature instead of the cooler, what is going to happen that the steel will just drop in this place on the floor because in crystallized it's getting cooler. But if you will re remove this one, it's going to flow down. And right now you'll try to do to make it flow forward. We'll fix the temperature in the freezer. Let's show these two people with continuous view and right now we'll make accident everything's okay right now so we're in the scada in the section cooling you will reduce it so where should i press yeah press here left button yeah this one this one drop temperature to 75 50 25 a little bit more. So the temperature is dropping, dropping down to zero. Does it really happen like that? Okay, you see red blinking. Output temperature is growing. And the accident will happen right now and everything will start floating to the bottom because this thing, what happens right now? 
That yeah, it went down to the core of the earth. And right now in this workshop, they have this melted metal on the floor. Does it look like it? Yeah, and it has a fire like out there. And nobody can uh, fix it and everybody will die. <laughs> no, the viewers should see life. Yeah, they see this burnt place, burnt to ashes uh, with uh, some demons from hell. I hope these are not employees of the factory. Okay, it's the end of this story. Second workshop that has been opened for us just recently. It's, uh... Okay, Skada is here. In the, beginning, in the beginning, we can change the angle for camera and you can look at it from here. So, we will show you. You see, on the left side, the beam is thicker, but then it's been rolled. It becomes thinner. The next one continues rolling it into even a thinner rod. And at the end, we have hot, thin rod, which is being reeled on the last bobbin. So the movements and the speeds of all these, uh, and it's been controlled by the special controller with a lot of sensors that watch that this rolling process, which looks easy. Actually, it has real sensors, and when something deviates from it, it's still being pulled. So it is being pulled. There's a lot of automation which holds it. Where this process is. So what are we going to do? Okay, right now, right now we have SCADA here. We're going to show it to viewers. We have a lot of parameters with sensors, with thickness, with the width of each one of these. It's very beautiful, but really unclear. Every cell, we have three cells and a lot of parameters. So right now we're going to reduce the thickness in the uh, cage number three. So we will reduce the thickness of the rod so that in the final we are going to have the thinner rod. But at a certain moment of time, let's go there. Let's go there. Can you see? Can you see? It's very bad in here. And we're going to stop the cage number three. So it means that uh, the rod is going to be very thin. So I press it down to zero. Okay, the rod rolling is going to stop. Yeah, it stopped. And what happened? But it's still pushing the rod. And it starts pulling out this rod outside. It's been pushed, but it's not going to be pulled. And it rotates. You see, it's going, oh my God, oh my God. And it's going to be like that. In real life, it's going to be like that. Like uh, with the size of the building. Well, if you will look in YouTube upon the request, uh, the beam uh, sticking out, it's not hot. It's not real. So it's not going to burn your finger. It will break the roof. Yeah. And this beam is going to be inside of the workshop. It's flying out because it's been pressed and it's moving out. And, you know, <laughs> it will hit the roof. It will break everything. It's awful. It's going to be awful. Oh, my God. Fire, roof, everything's breaking. So these are two new incidents in metal production. And nobody were able to realize them, right? Well, I think I don't hear that anybody have hit metals uh, from the attackers. Did you hear that somebody is in Metallica? Two inadmissible events, but I don't remember which of those. I think you will show me everything here. They have not reached SCADA. I can tell you definitely. They have not reached SCADA yet. <clears throat> what next? Uh, the pipes are leaking here. No. Beautiful flanges, red flanges. No, this is our gas station. Yesterday, Golsakom came and they like our welder who welds and then burns. It's the same burning welder. It's been burning like Phoenix. Well, this is a real replica. This is a replica. Okay, what's next? We're going to move into this corner, and this is going to be the end of our sightseeing tour. And we're going to show you the last thing that we have in our replica of the city. It's the electrical generation. These two cells, it's the generation, hydro power station, nuclear power plant, and typical power plant. 
During the previous event, okay, can you show me nuclear power plant? I never seen them. Here it is. It's not working. It's not operational. It's getting ready for the next year, and by the we're going to complete it. But last time, hydro power plant didn't work, and we didn't have SCADA. But we are developing. Next time, a uh, nuclear power plant is going to work. This time, a uh, hydro power plant is operational. And we did go to real uh, power plant. We went to all the shops. We looked at all the automation and uh, on the motifs of what is done in real one. We created SCADA from the, with the hydro controller, with oil system, with pneumatics, and uh, the system of group uh, control of hydro uh, machinery in a hydro plant and this is uh, the same controller like in real uh, SCADA of Volga gas. It's a big hydroelectrical energy company. Mm -hmm. This is a new one. You see at the bottom it has this uh, snail and this is the cross section and that's how it looks like but what can be broken here you can disconnect water or what well i've invented what should happen here next time when nuclear power plant will work except for gamer six homer simpson nothing comes to my mind well if they will realize a risk here and something explodes here they should have double-headed sheep flying out of it nuclear power plant it has exploded, but, but there is something living, and now this living thing has two heads. Yeah, we will read what happened in Chernobyl, we will learn about these stories, and then we'll make double-headed whatever. Okay, let's start with hydropower plant. Let's do something to it. So if we'll do something to the hydropower plant, we are going to have the energy supply problems, and there's not going to be any light in the city. Well... We have fixed logic. Previously, we had only one point of generation. It was a heat power plant. Right now, we also have a hydro. So we have two power plants and two substations. So on a step-by-step -step, uh, basis, we are introducing backup in order to disconnect the whole city. You have to disconnect everything. Yeah, uh, hydro and heat. Should be stopped. Well, energy supply company, it's a commercial accounting of the consumed energy. They make agreements, they have the consumer devices, uh, sensors are installed in cities, and then calculations with the users. Okay, let's make show at the end. Can you? <coughs> well, you have asked me. Well, this is uh, a lot of sensors here, and it looks like the previous time. However, honestly speaking, it's not like in the last time. The fountain of water. No, it, there's not going to be. It's a hydro power plant. The hydro power plant that we've had in the beginning of standoffs. I remember there was water and even a fish. It's not that one. This one is much more modest. Okay, right now I have to disconnect group controller. And then we are going to be able to change uh, sensors. <laughs> What are you doing here? This is hydro energy things. This is a group regulation controller. I've disconnected it in SCADA. And right now we will have to change the settings. And well, right now I don't remember. What else should I press here? Well, that's it. I've disconnected everything. Cyril, Cyril, can you give me the demonstration how the nuclear power plant is going to stop? I mean, hydro power plant. And you will see that hydro uh, turbine will stop. Yeah, this is uh, cross-section number one and turbine number two. And we have a lot of those turbines and they can also be uh, remotely disconnected, okay? <clears throat> about generation what have we done right now we have stopped only one source of generation and a heat power plant still works so our city still have light no blackout but last year if they've been stopping the heat power plant the city was without the electricity well, according to the legend, uh, one line should be disconnected to the factory, and factory can stay without light. I'm speaking about metal producing. I'm not lying to you. 
the hydropower plant is not working, but there is still electricity. There is still electricity, but I hoped that something will black out. I don't know, some lamps will not be as bright. Well, most of the electricity is produced by the heat power plant, so it's the biggest one. If it works, everything's all right. Okay, I understand it, I understand it. And hydro power plant, nobody cares about it. It plays regulation functions, etc. But I would like to tell you that it's not interesting to attack it as well. Nothing will happen. But they're working for the points, and it's the question of the scale. It's on the level of the country. It's very noticeable. Well, it's very bad for the energy system. Today, this morning, I had a super idea. All my yes, I would like to ask all of them about expectations, what's going to be broken in the end of the day, remaining four and a half hours. So you think what they are going to break today. I believe that Kodobai will break the airport <clears throat> and the guys who are sitting inside of the energy and oil companies, they will complete breaking it. How fast? Well, as we can see from the experience in recent days, uh, our uh, tourists, they will break through and they will just break it. I believe they will do it. Okay, one and a half hours, one and a half hours. So Vladimir gives you 1.5 hours in order for you to complete his uh, exercise. It was very nice walking together with you around the streets of our replica state. We have not reached the uh, city. We've been walking uh, next to the industrial facilities. Yeah, we've been visiting industrial facilities, but well, 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 it was not that bad and we were not in traffic jam.